Are you struggling to choose between test-driven development and behavior-driven development for your projects? Or maybe you're just curious about how they differ? Well, stick around because by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how TDD and BDD differ and which one suits your needs. Testing is a vital part of software development, and two popular approaches often come up, test-driven development, or TDD, and behavior-driven development, or BDD. But what do these approaches really mean, and how are they different? Today, we'll break it down aspect by aspect, in simple terms. Before going forward please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon. The first aspect is definition and purpose. TDD focuses on writing tests first before writing the actual code. Imagine you're building a chair. TDD is like testing the screws and joints before assembling the chair. Developers write small unit tests for specific functionalities and ensure these tests pass before moving on. Now, behavior-driven development takes a different approach. It's like sitting on the chair to make sure it's comfortable and meets expectations. BDD emphasizes the behavior of the application from the end-user's perspective. It involves collaboration between developers, testers, and stakeholders to define how the application should behave in plain English. The next aspect is focus. TDD focuses on the implementation. It's all about whether the code does what it's supposed to do at a technical level. Developers think in terms of how will this feature work in code? On the other hand, BDD focuses on behavior. It's about understanding what the user needs and ensuring the application meets those needs. Stakeholders and non-technical team members can easily understand BDD because it uses natural language. The next aspect is process. Here's how TDD works in three steps. Write a failing test. Write just enough code to make the test pass. Refactor the code while keeping the test green. This cycle repeats for every feature. BDD's process is slightly different. It starts with writing scenarios in plain language, often using a format called Gherkin. These scenarios describe how the application should behave. Once the behavior is defined, developers and testers create automated tests based on these scenarios and ensure the application matches the expected behavior. The next aspect is communication. TDD is mostly developer-driven. The team working on TDD needs to have a good understanding of the code base, but it doesn't involve much collaboration outside of the development team. BDD shines in communication. It encourages collaboration between developers, testers, and business stakeholders. By defining behaviors in plain English, everyone on the team is on the same page about what the application should do. Next aspect is tools. Popular tools for TDD include JUnit, NUnit, and TestNG. These are frameworks that allow developers to write and execute tests efficiently. For BDD, you'll often hear about tools like Cucumber, Specflow, and Behave. These tools support writing scenarios in plain language and connecting them to automated tests. The next aspect is benefits. TDD helps catch bugs early, ensures high-quality code, and promotes better design. Since the tests are written first, you're always coding with a clear goal in mind. BDD ensures that the application aligns with user expectations. It fosters teamwork and makes it easier to adapt to changes because the expected behavior is clearly defined. Next is when to use each. TDD is ideal for developers working on projects with a lot of technical complexity. If your team is small and focused on coding, TDD might be the way to go. BDD is perfect for projects with multiple stakeholders, like product owners or clients, who need to be involved in defining requirements. It's also great for ensuring the final product matches user expectations. Here's a quick recap. TDD focuses on implementation, developer-driven, technical language, and uses tools like JUnit. BDD focuses on behavior, collaboration-focused, plain English, and uses tools like Cucumber. So, there you have it. TDD and BDD are both powerful approaches, but they serve different purposes. TDD ensures your code is robust and error-free, while BDD ensures your application behaves as users expect. The right choice depends on your project's needs. Now it's your turn. 
Which approach do you think is better for your projects? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to get notified about our upcoming videos.